Well, one of the songs, or one of the styles I'd like to start out with is a very common one that a lot of guitar players are playing, especially amongst themselves or uh, with other people. It's uh, a 12-bar blues, and we're going to start with the key of C. Now, 12-bar blues usually has a, a structure, and that's something that you, if you don't know by now, um, it's something that you could write out for yourself. Just write out four bars of just a C chord, two bars of an F chord, two bars of a C chord, and then we're going to use two bars of a G chord, and then back to two bars of a C chord, making it 12 bars. We're also going to do this, I'd, I'd suggest also to make a, a tape of yourself, just playing a little bit of rhythm. You don't have to play anything fancy here, but you're going to make it about four bars long, and in the last bar, throw in a, a C7 chord, and then go to your F, and just let that ring. And, you know, it could be something just about like this. And record that a number of times, doing that a number of times, because that's what you're going to be playing against. See, I want you to have a feel of when that chord change is coming up. Because if you're not jamming with somebody, if you're just playing by yourself, you want to start getting into the feel of when that happens. Now, we're in a C chord, we're in the key of C, and our root note is going to be right here on that fifth string, the C note. The other magical note in the uh, blues is going to be the major third, and I say major third because if we took a C scale, it's the third note of the scale. And I want you to take a look at my fingers, at the pattern that that's making, the shape that it makes. You'll know your root note and your major third is right behind it and back one fret. The minor third, that's, that's the killer. That's, that's the funky note in the blues right there. So it's these three notes that we're going to start fooling around with. Now, in blues, uh, you may have learned, may not have learned, but uh, you may have learned uh, tunes like Bad Luck Blues. That's a Blind Lemon Jefferson tune. Um, there's uh, Diddy Wah Diddy. There's tons of these songs that are in the key of C. You may know some of them, and if you do, well, here's where we're going to start throwing in some extra things. First, establish a rhythm for yourself, like a, a tempo. Okay? Now, those three notes that we had, we had the C, we had the E, and we had the E flat. Now, I'm going to give you an idea of how I would improvise with those. Give you another example. One, two, three, four. So you could do a lot with just a few notes. It depends on the rhythm that you want to throw these in. Now, if you look at my right hand, I'm just using my thumb there. generally tend to use that uh, in that area. Um, but now let's take a look at some other notes. We have another E flat and another C and another E. Here's our C note, the one, and the minor third, that blues note. We can always look at this way at it's three frets higher than the root note. So we have our minor. There's our blues note. And we have our open first string. That's going to be our major third. So now let's get that rhythm going again. And now I'm going to go. Or I may want to go. So you see, that's how I did it. But how you do it is all up to you. You're going to be the judge of of how good it sounds, or maybe even how bad it sounds. And don't be afraid of making mistakes. I mean, that's how we all learn. In fact, Blind Lemon Jefferson used to do this. First time I heard it, I thought it was a mistake. 
but I kind of like that. It has that combination of that that E flat and the E. And with my right hand, I'm using two fingers to sort of. You can combine these things. Or skip over. getting the idea that pretty much you can do anything with this as long as you're keeping that timing going keeping the rhythm going and when you hear that F chord come in then you know that you're going into another chord so that's three notes that we have a C an E flat and an E the, the root the minor third the major third let's add some more notes to the mix we're going to add the G now the G if you see the C note, the G is right here, and you can see the shape that that makes. That's what we call a perfect fifth. It's the fifth of the scale. Now we have the open G, and that's what we're going to use. And we have the A note, and that would be the sixth. Now I'm going to combine just that G and just the A and lead it to a C. So I'm just going to work with that. And I can fool around with that for a while. Now here, when the notes get kind of fast, I'm, 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 I'm alternating my first and second finger. You don't have to do that. You can just use one finger. You can alternate your thumb and first finger, or you can use two. It depends on how fast you really want to go. Now, let's combine this. Now we're really starting to say something, but we even have more. We have a G note here. There's the relation between the root and the G. So you'll always know that your fifth is like that. No matter where you are on the neck, that shape, you're going to have a perfect fifth. You got the sixth, which is one, two frets up. And I, I tend to like this area a lot. do a lot with this. See how I went into that? So I can try and combine these notes now. with your with your tape you can hear that F chord come in. 